God, thank you so much for tuning in once again. And we want to get into the word of God, but I hear a song and we sing it around our church sometime. Clap your hands with me if you know it and sing it along with me. It says, to worship you I live. To worship you I live. I live to worship you. Mm -hmm. To worship you I live. To worship you I live. I live to worship you. Sing it with me. We sing oh. Oh, one more time. Mm -hmm. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. I praise God for he has placed within me a song, a song that the angels cannot sing. Amen. We don't need instruments. Hallelujah. We can sing to God from our hearts. And we praise God for that privilege. We thank God for you on today. Let's go to God in prayer. Lord, we want to thank you for this opportunity. We want to thank you for those who are listening to the sound of my voice. And we want you, we need you to speak now so that we can be effective, productive believers in Jesus Christ. Unstop their fears now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, I want to give you part three of Noah today. You know, we've been talking about the importance of living and operating in faith during this season. And we have used Noah as an example, for he was a man of great faith. Now, we've seen that Noah's faith in God led him to immediate obedience. And of course, we know from last week that the people of Noah's day were consumed with wickedness. Oh yes, they were evil and immoral and depraved, meaning they were sinful people. Now many of us don't like to use the word sin in the church today because it's really not a crowd-pleasing term, so we shy away from it. But hear me today, I've got to tell you, if it goes against the holy standard of God, if it drives you away from the love of Jesus Christ, if it causes you to rebel against godly authority, if it causes you to disobey your parents, if it causes you to disrespect your husband, if it causes you to creep on your wife, then it is sin. The Bible says all unrighteousness is sin. And that goes for all of us. And so, if you want forgiveness of your sin, you must be willing to deal with the sin issue. And the way you deal with the sin issue is, number one, you've got to acknowledge that it is sin. Number two, you need to take it to God in prayer. And then number three, while you're praying, you need to ask God to forgive you. So, the people of Noah's day were sinful. But their sinfulness did not distract Noah. No, no, no. Their wickedness did not influence Noah. And that's where I want to hang my hat at, so to speak, today. That's what I want you to see today. Just imagine the criticism that Noah probably received while he was building an ark in a place where it had never rained before. And they didn't even know what rain was, but he kept building. And that's what you've got to do in this pandemic today. You've got to keep moving forward with God's plan for your life. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you today, don't be influenced by people who are bending the rules in this season. Don't be influenced by people who are not obeying city and state recommendations. Don't be influenced by people 
who don't believe in the only begotten Son of God. Don't be influenced by people who talk against your church and who criticize your worship. I just want to tell you to keep the faith and stay focused on God's will for your life because faith in God is not popular these days, but it certainly will cause you to experience divine favor on your life. Praise God for Jesus. Faith in God is like having a light that guides you through the darkness. And listen. We have experienced some dark days recently. I know you can attest to that. If you just look around and you look at the news, you can see tornadoes and you can see disease and fear and death and criminal activity and joblessness and financial strain. But the Bible says, they that wait on the Lord, praise God, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. They shall run and not get weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Guess what? You can have this kind of peace when your faith is in God. Noah's faith in God pleased God. And I just want to tell you today, your faith will please him also. I trust that you have received the word of God on today, and I trust that you were encouraged by a man known as Noah in Scripture who was told to do the unthinkable. But in the end, he saved his whole family. Amen. Keep the faith. May God bless you. Let's pray. Now, Lord, we thank you for your word today. And we thank you because we understand your word has been out, has gone out, and it shall not return forward. Bless those who are listening, O oh God, to go out and to apply your word. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my friends, I look forward to seeing you on next time. Make sure you tune in because God always has something to say about your life, your life from his word. May God bless you. Thank you.